I'm Jill Benson, the Dwell Curriculum Coordinator, and I'm going to take a few minutes today to walk you through the elements of a Dwell Flex session and highlight a few things you'll want to do as you prepare to lead. I'm starting from our Dwell website today, and from here I'm just going to click on Explore Sessions to take us to Dwell Digital, where all of our Flex sessions are available. You can also just type digital.dwellcurriculum.org into the address bar and that will take you directly to our Dwell digital site. So I'm going to click on Flex and you can see that we have two years of materials available. This will eventually be expanded into four years of material that will be available. And today we're going to look at year one, unit two, session four, Jesus Calms the Storm. And before we go and look at the particular elements of this session, I just want to show you how to print out this session. You can do that either by hitting Control P or clicking on this Print This Session link. I use Chrome to access Dwell Digital, so I have this Save as PDF option. A lot of other internet browsers will have a similar option built in, or you can also select a printer to print out a paper copy. So this is how the printed session will look. All of the extra information has been removed, the sidebars and everything, and you just have the text of the session um, ready for you to work from to lead. So coming back to Dwell Digital, I just want to highlight a few things at the top of every session. We include the scripture here for your reference, just so that you know which part of scripture we've pulled the story from. Dwell includes an adapted version of that story. We also give the focus. This is the important truth that you pray the children will take away from this story. And we give the faith nurture goals, which are things that you'll want your group to experience, discover, and do as you seek to nurture their faith. These are both helpful things just to keep in mind as you prepare to lead your session. Also at the top, you can see our dwell story symbol for this session. Each Bible story in dwell has its own story symbol. These provide kids with a pictorial timeline, helping them to see how all God's stories fit together to form one big story. These are a great way to review what you've learned with your group. You can show story symbols from previous weeks to help them recall those stories. And they're also a great way to decorate your dwell space. <laughs> you can hang the story symbols up on a wall if you're meeting in person, or if you're leading sessions virtually, you can hang them on a wall behind you and both give children a way to track the progress of the stories as you move throughout your children's ministry year. There are a few different ways to access these story symbols. You can click actually and open this black and white symbol right from here on the Dwell session in uh, Flex on Dwell Digital. You can also go down to step two. There will always be story symbols attached to this step. Um, there'll be the full unit of story symbols and the black and white version. So you can see here are our unit two story symbols and session four is right there, the symbol for our story. So you can print that out and use that. You can also access full color versions of our story symbols on our leader support page. And from Dwell Digital, you can get to that just by clicking on this printable full color story symbol set link. This takes you to our leader support page and to the downloads by level section of that page. It has all the downloads that you would need for any level of Dwell, but we'll look just at this flex portion for right now. The first two links here are the full color story symbol sets. So you can see we can click on year one and there are all of the full color story symbols for year one of Dwell Flex. And our symbol here is about the 10th symbol in the file. And so, um, if we go to page 11, you'll see there is the symbol for today's story. You can also access the black and white versions of the story symbols here, um, just like the file that I showed you in Dwellflex. So that's how to access the story symbols. Um, as we scroll down here, the next thing I want to highlight is the leader reflection. And this is basically a devotional for you, the leader, as you prepare to lead. Um, it's not necessarily information that you would share all of it with the children, um, but it's a historical background and um, information to nurture your faith as the leader. Before we get into the main four steps, I just want to highlight this reformed tip box. 
Dwell is written from a reformed perspective, and this perspective interprets the Bible, first of all, as the story of God. Each session focuses on what God has done and is doing today as God's people help to bring in God's kingdom. And so this reformed tip box helps to place the story within that perspective. It gives that reformed background for the leader. Again, it's not necessarily something that you would read to the children in your group, but it's helpful information for you to have as you place the story in that broader reformed perspective of God's big story. So the first step that you'll do with your group is breathe. And this is just a time to focus your attention on God. We find that children and adults really benefit from having a few moments to take a few breaths in and out and just calm your, um, your heart and your body and prepare yourself to hear God's story. From there, you'll move into tell and wonder. And the first thing you do in this step is hold up the story symbol and ask your group what clues they think that that symbol gives them about the story that they're about to hear. And this is not a time for the kids to guess the correct story that they're going to hear today. It's just a chance for them to get their imaginations moving as they prepare again to enter God's story. And so you're not looking for right answers, whether no matter what answer they give, just accept it and um, you know, say that's interesting or um, in whatever way you can affirm their guess and then move on without giving away which answer was correct. Then you'll move into telling the story. We include the text of the story right here in step two. We encourage you to read through the story a few times ahead of time as that will just help you to be familiar with it and tell it better. We include wondering questions throughout and we encourage you to make sure you take time to pause and allow children to answer those questions. We also include the scripture reference at the top here. You can click and that will take you to Bible Gateway to that particular passage there. You can read the text right from um, the scripture if you would like to read the story from there instead of using the adapted version we give you. If you do that, we just encourage you to allow time throughout for wondering, even if you use these same wondering questions we provide you here. And we like the New International Readers version in particular if you're going to read from the Bible, as that has very kid-friendly language in it. So after you finish telling the story. At the end, there will often be a couple more wondering questions just to allow children um, time to process and think through what they've just heard. And then you'll move into a time of prayer. And we'll always give an option for what you can do during this prayer time, but you can also always pray in whatever way you prefer. You can also use this free resource, Five Ways to Pray with Kids, and use any of the suggestions that can be found here. From there, you'll move into the respond step. And for this step, we really encourage you to have a copy of God's Big Story cards on hand. And you can order those um, from the Dwell Digital page. You can click on this Order God's Big Story Cards link to access those. And I'm just going to open a sample so that you can see what they look like. There is one of these cards for each Dwell story and then some. And on each card, you'll have the scripture on the front. And then you will also have the story symbol that you can look at and compare to your story symbol just to confirm that you have the right card. And then on the back, there's six different ways to respond to God's story. The God's Big Story cards come with a colored die that you can roll and whatever color comes up, you can do that activity or you can also read through them in advance and see which particular activities you wanna focus on that day. So for the response step, really we're gonna be encouraging you to use those God's Big Story cards to respond to the story and we'll give you the specific card number that you need in that step. If you don't have the God's Big Story cards, you can also use this free five ways to retell a Bible story with kids resource to respond to the story with your group. So those are the four main steps. We also include easy extras for you as a way to supplement the material if you have extra time in your session. Often these will be arrival activities, things the kids can do as they're coming in. This particular session includes a printable page um, that has some story pictures that are a way that children can retell the story. With these easy extras, if you do have any printable pages that you need or any materials that you need, they'll all be listed right under this session title. 
And so you can click right into this printable page and see that, you know, they can print these out and the children can color these in and make little booklets about the story that they can use then to retell the story to each other or to their families when they go home. We'll also always include links to all the age-specific sessions in Dwell that tell this story. And so you can click into any of those for even more alternate activities or extra activities you can include with this session. So that's all of the elements of a Dwell Flex session. Just a few notes of things that you wanna make sure you do as you prepare to lead. As mentioned, you'll want to make sure you have a copy of the story symbol, whether or not it's the black and white story symbol that you can click into from here or the full color version. You'll also want to make sure you have any printable pages you'll need. Occasionally, step two will have some printable pages attached to it. It would be just like the story, the story symbol file. They would be attached just to the same place in step two. And then of course also the easy extra will sometimes have printable pages. So you'll just want to check for those and make sure you have those all available and ready. Materials are also something you want to make sure you have ready. You will have materials sometimes listed in the easy extra. And again in step two occasionally there will be materials listed here as well. You can see there aren't any in this particular session so it doesn't even show up but if there were materials for step two it would have materials and list them out right here. So you just want to make sure you have any materials that the session says you'll need to lead. You also might want to, as I mentioned before, read through the God's Big Story card activities ahead of time just to check if there are any particular ones you want to make sure you make time for it to do with your group. And then of course, as I mentioned, please make time to read through the story several times before you lead. That really does um, make the story come more alive for the children as they hear it, um, because it's just, you're able to tell it better if you've read through it several times. So try to make time for that before you lead. And just a reminder, if you are leading a virtual session, Make sure that you send all of the printable pages and materials that the children will need to use at home. Make sure you send those to their parents ahead of time so that they have those available. And if you're sending the whole session home as something parents can do with their children, make sure you include everything they need. So make sure you include those printable pages, make sure you include those story symbols so that they have all of that when they go to lead the session. And then of course, we would also encourage you to give them a copy of God's Big Story Cards so that they have that for the respond part of this session. And really, we'd encourage you to purchase God's Big Story Cards for all of the families in your program, as that really is a great way for the children to review the story that they've learned in DwellFlex with their families at home. So that's a quick walkthrough of a DwellFlex session. One thing I want to quickly highlight is how to get in touch with us if you have any questions or issues. You'll find this leader support sidebar that has a lot of really helpful information you can check out. It also has a link to a page of frequently asked questions about our Dwell Digital site. You'll also find our support at dwellcurriculum.org email address. Please feel free to contact us using this address if you have any questions or concerns, anything at all you'd like to check in with us about. You can also use this chat function, um, this button in the bottom right hand of your screen that is available during office hours, so you can get in touch with us that way as well. And there's also this feedback form that you can use if you have ideas or feedback about this particular session. When you click on the link, it opens a feedback form that is specific to that session, already enters all the information in for you, um, and you can put your feedback right here. Thanks for taking a few minutes today to look at 12Flex with me. Again, please reach out if you have any questions or if there's any way that we can support your children's ministry.